Two Jacksonville men are now facing multiple felony drug charges after two lengthy investigations by police. The sheriff says those operations prevented major amounts of fentanyl from hitting the streets. And this is good news to the mother of a local man who accidentally died from a fentanyl overdose. It's your worst nightmare. You, you just never will recover from that. After losing her son to fentanyl, that mother became a voice for other parents who recently lost their son or daughter to fentanyl. News for Jack's reporter Eric Abinay joining us live to explain. Eric? Well, it was around this time four years ago when Carol Meinert's son, Evan, died from a fentanyl overdose. Now, at the time, he was trying heroin, not knowing the heroin was laced with fentanyl. So earlier today, when JSO announced the seizure of kilo quantities of fentanyl, uh, Carol was very happy to know that none of that, uh, those illicit drugs made their way onto Jacksonville streets. 34-year-old Chaylen Ross and 37-year-old Tommy Maitland are the latest two people in Jacksonville to face serious drug charges connected to the trafficking and distribution of kilo quantities of fentanyl. Police say the arrest of the two men involved the seizure of enough fentanyl to potentially kill a million people. According to the CDC, more than 150 people die every day from a fentanyl overdose. That number is equivalent of the number of passengers flying on some commercial airplanes. It's a lot. And the person who knows this best is Carol Minyard. Four years ago in July, her son died from fentanyl. What was your reaction when you heard about the amount of fentanyl that was seized and the equivalent potential lethal doses? When I hear the um, amount of lives that are being lost, I think of, uh, number one, it's a lot of young people. It's just a whole lot of people. And then number two, I think about the families that are left behind. Her son, Evan, battled drug addiction for 15 years. He was 35 when he attempted to do heroin while not knowing the heroin was laced with fentanyl. His mother is now a voice for parents who suddenly find themselves learning about their son or daughter overdosing and dying. The good thing for me that's come out of all this tragedy is I do have the opportunity to speak with other parents about this because I understand their pain. I understand what they're going through. You wouldn't wish this on anyone. As for anyone thinking about experimenting with drugs, especially children, Minyard's only advice is... You don't want to try it. It could realistically cost you your life. You don't know what you're getting. Don't even try anything that you don't get from the doctor. Now, if you or someone you know is battling a drug addiction and want help, we want to help you get that help. So please call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration National Hotline. We've posted that number at the bottom of your screen. We have also posted that number on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.